My name is William Johnston. I work for a company called WSP. We're a global engineering services company. Um, we have our head office in Canada and our um, African head office is uh, in, um, here in Johannesburg. We're a company of about 36,000 people. Um, I'm a director in the property team um, and in the structures div division specifically. Um, and I'm the head of the African healthcare uh, endeavor. Development is all about risk management. Um, stability, instability in an economy um, creates uncertainty and through uncertainty comes risk. So developers are always um, trying to, you know, you're going to put down an asset for 20, 30 years. Um, you'd like to have some sort of forecast of how it's going to perform over that, in that time. And the instability creates uncertainty, which makes that difficult. So it creates a slight unwillingness or uncertainty to, to start to develop. And so it, uh, it definitely adds a, um, a slowdown to the amount of um, uh, development that might have, might have happened. Um, so, yes, if we can have a, a more stable and uh, uh, economic future, then it will certainly assist um, developers in, uh, in, in uh, making uh, concrete decisions about where to put their certain assets and, and, uh, and, uh, and commence that investment. Um, the, the upturn or the, the converse of that or the spin-off of that um, uh, thought is that they still need to invest. Um, property funds need to grow. They've got um, shareholders to look after. Uh, and so they can't, um, without changing tack completely, they can't stop investing. So it just means investment in a considered and, uh, and diligent manner, strategic um, investments in, um, in extremely good locations. So you find that good locations really become quite a premium. You've seen that with the reaction to the Gaut train locations in, in uh, Johannesburg and in Gauteng. So those premium properties are something that really become sought after. Um, there are still tenants who are willing to pay top dollar for, for um, premium space and premium location. And so de developers are very um, uh, keen to put down very uh, high quality, sustainable, operationally efficient, efficient assets um, to attract those, uh, those tenants who are willing to pay for the, uh, for, uh, for the benefit. Um, they tend to have a, a degree of uh, increased viability because um, of their diversity, for starters. Um, the uh, diverse nature of a mixed-use development um, brings together all sorts of um, aspects of the economy, the residential, commercial, um, and, and retail, sometimes industrial mixed in, um, and together the social types of um, developments, uh, healthcare, um, education. And so together they get to balance um, uh, the, the ups and downs of the economy a little bit better and uh, with a little bit more resilience. So uh, I definitely think the diversity that these um, um, uh, developments bring uh, adds to their, their, their success. Um, also, um, the, 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 the smart nature in, in which they developed, um, the smart nature with which the, um, the, the services and the infrastructure is in, installed uh, makes them more operationally efficient therefore makes them more financially efficient, both for um, particularly um, in, the, in the long term. And so the people moving in are, are, uh, get the benefits and therefore obviously there's, uh, there's more demand for them. Um, so I think a lot is to, down to its, uh, its diversity um, and, uh, and the success there. Um, there's been an obvious uh, pullout uh, uh, from the country uh, in the mining sector. Um, while the mining sector is, is obviously a very specific sector, there's a huge amount of uh, spin-off into other sectors, um, infrastructure and, um, and, and residential developments that go along with it. Um, so I think certainly the mining sector specifically has, has, um, has the downturn in that sense has, has pushed some developers and some uh, uh, investors and, um, and, uh, in, 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 and service providers into spaces where, where they previously didn't exist and added to the competition and, uh, and saturation in that market. So that certainly has added some, some challenge. And then I think just generally because of the uncertainty the, in, the, in the economy, um, there's been a general downturn a lot in, in, in many of the sectors, um, which has is, which is certainly added to the, to the pressure. Lighter commercial projects tend to be things like uh, warehousing and distribution centers. Um, they, I think they, they are successful in light manufacturing, and they, they're success, successful in trying economies for a couple of reasons. Primarily, um, many uh, operators, many um, companies are looking for efficiencies. It's a competitive time. 
it's, um, it's, 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 it's a tough market and one has to be really uh, astute in one's uh, uh, procurement and, and uh, processes in order to make sure you are offering the best value for money. And so we're seeing a lot of, um, you know, the, the likes of the big retailers, ShopRite were the, was one of the first to move in this direction many years ago and, and, and look for big distribution centers and central, and central distribution. And the others have, over the past few years have been coming on board as well. So, but, but that's an example of, of, many, of, of large companies, but many similar companies in many different sectors are looking for that advantage. So those companies that, have, uh, that are successful in this trying economy are now looking for that, that little edge um, to, 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 to um, uh, uh, stay above the competition, stay ahead, ahead of the pack. And those edge comes in many ways, and one of them is their distribution centers and the way they manage their stock and the way they manage their goods. So that's certainly one, um, one aspect of it. I think the other aspect is, um, is that it's an opportunity for, for, for processing plants and, and light manufacturing to, to look at doing repairs and uh, maintenance that they might not otherwise have been able to do in, um, in peak, uh, peak times. Um, in peak times, you're quite reluctant to, to take um, uh, process, lines off, off, uh, process plants offline. And, um, and so this is a good opportunity to do those expansions and do the um, alterations and extensions that you might have uh, wanted to do and forecast that you'll still require. Um, we are seeing, obviously, um, yes, there's plenty new development, but there's quite a lot of brownfield development in the property sector right now. And, uh, and I think that's also a reflection of the trying times, and it's, um, it's trying to enhance assets that you already have um, to, to um, increase them to the level that they need to be to be resilient enough for the next um, foreseeable future.